Hello, and welcome back to AutoGPT Tutorials. Today, we're diving into something truly revolutionary trending GitHub project, self-operating computer framework. Imagine a world where your computer can operate itself, seamlessly navigating the digital realm without your constant input. This futuristic vision is becoming a reality with the advent of self-operating computer, a groundbreaking AI tool that empowers computers to perform tasks autonomously. Today, we'll delve into the world of self-operating computer, exploring its groundbreaking capabilities and guiding you through the installation and usage process. Get ready to witness the future of computing as we unlock the potential of hands-free interaction. Self-operating computer is a framework that enables multimodal models, like GPT-4V, to operate a computer. It utilizes the same inputs and outputs of a human operator to view the screen and decide on a series of mouse and keyboard axioms to reach an objective. This means that you can instruct self-operating computer to perform tasks such as opening applications, navigating websites, and even writing code, all without touching the keyboard or mouse. Ready to unveil the magic? Let's get started. First, you go to Self-Operating Computer Project GitHub page link available in the description. Self-Operating Computer Project in trending on GitHub and it's gained 2.3k stars in the last few days. A framework to enable multimodal models to operate a computer. Using the same inputs and outputs of a human operator, the model views the screen and decides on a series of mouse and keyboard actions to reach an objective. Some important key features of Self-Operating Computer Project. Compatibility designed for various multimodal models. Integration, currently integrated with GPT-4V as the default model. Future plans, support for additional models. Ongoing development. At HyperWrite AI, we are developing Agent One Vision, a multimodal model with more accurate click location predictions. Watch this demo video for how it's work. Okay, let's start installation instructions. First clone the repo in your computer. So copy this command and go to your code editor, for example. I use Visual Studio, so I go to Visual Studio Code Editor and open Command Terminal, and paste the command and enter now. Move to next part and open your self-operating computer file using this command, so copy and paste in your terminal. Let's move to next and create a Python virtual environment using this command, so copy and paste in your terminal. And after creating your virtual environment, activate using this activate command. But currently I used conda virtual environment, so I input conda command and create now. My input command is conda create nsic python 3.11 and enter now after creating my conda environment i using this command and activate my conda environment conda activate sock and enter now My new environment start right now, let's move to our next step, and install the project requirements dependencies using this command. So I copy and paste in terminal, and enter now. After installing all dependencies, move to next step and install command line interface using this command. So I copy and paste in my terminal and enter now. Okay, let's move to next and change your NV file name from example.env to .env. If you use Mac then change directly, and if you use Window then select your file and rename it and save only .env only.
Next set your OpenAI API key here. So I go to my OpenAI account and go to API key tab and create a new API key. Copy this new API key and paste in my .mv file and save now. Okay, let's move to next. I already saved my OpenAI API key so I run this program using this operate command. So I copy this command and paste in my terminal. If sometime you face this type of OpenAI API key issue then set your OpenAI API key in your terminal. Using this command, set OpenAI API key, your API key, and enter now. If you use macOS, then enter export command, and if you use window then use set command. Okay, next rerun your program using operator command. And that's, it's done. Your program runs successfully, and enter OK, and input any command, and use now. As we conclude our exploration of self-operating computer, I hope you're as excited as I am about the potential of this revolutionary AI tool. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences with self-operating computer, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel, AutoGPT Tutorials, for more in-depth tutorials and guides on GPT-4V and other groundbreaking AI tools. Together, let's unlock the boundless possibilities of artificial intelligence and shape the future of computing.